everyone and welcome to this review note. In this clip we're going to look at what happens with OSPF if we have a link failure. Over here on router 1 in my topology I'm going to quickly look at the routing table. Right now everything's fully converged, everything's up and running. We've got three networks that are learned from the OSPF process. That will be these three here. And then of course, this router knows about this direct one. Now what happens if one of my networks goes away? I'm gonna do is delete that link. So unexpectedly, that interface went away or the connection at least to this interface went away on this router and now one of our networks is gone. That's going to cause a reconvergence to take place in the network. This guy is going to have to tell everybody else, and specifically the designated router, that, hey, this network is gone. So what effect does that have? And this may not be apparent yet, but we'll try anyway and see if that route is gone. And it is, actually. Before, we had three networks, the top two here, and then this guy that we would learned from routers two, three, and four. If we look now after that connection is gone, we've got routers two and three, but that network we knew about from router four is no longer there. So the reconvergence is pretty quick, but that did have to happen. And as we can see, if a network goes away for any reason, whether it be something that failed or whether we actually remove the network from service, the other routers automatically are going to be updated with respect to their information in the routing table. Okay. Now, the other thing that's pretty important, and our network doesn't have this, but if we had multiple redundant links to get to this network, then under the circumstances, we would have had two possible routes to get there. The one that would have flowed this way, and then the one that would have taken some other path. Even though the one that flowed across the top, which is how we got there before, might have been the preferred route, or the least cost, or the lowest administrative distance, what would have ended up happening is if that went away, the other path, whatever that was, that would have gotten to that network now would have had the lowest administrative distance. And once the reconvergence took place, we'd still be able to communicate over onto that network. It's just a matter that it would be, uh, you know, maybe slower or something like that if it's not as fast to link. That wraps up looking at how the effect or what we see as the effect if one of our links goes away or topology changes. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.